guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited to be reviewing Chanel's new fall makeup collection for 2020. I have been waiting for this collection to come out. I did place an order on it two weeks ago and for some reason or another Chanel had my order on hold for the longest time but I finally received it and I can't wait to dig in and show you guys exactly what I purchased from the collection. I think this collection is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to try it out. Also, Chanel just released a new version of the Mademoiselle fragrance and I just received it in the mail today, so perfect timing. I will be doing an unboxing and letting you guys know what I think about the fragrance as well as a full review of the new Chanel Falk makeup collection for 2020. So I think we're going to go ahead and start with the makeup collection did come out with two brand new palettes and I felt that they both were very similar so I really just wanted to choose one of them. One of them I felt was very warm and the other one was kind of on the lighter end. They're both very gorgeous but I don't feel like you need both of them. I ended up choosing number 362 and this is the one with the warm brown shade. I just felt with all the red shades in this palette that the brown shade would be such a really beautiful transition so I ended ended up choosing this one. Uh, this collection is stunning. It's so beautiful. I love it. It's very unique. I don't own anything like this. It's not quite maroon. It does have more of a red type of undertone, uh, but still it's pink and there's gold shimmer in here. It's just, it's beautiful. It's so gorgeous. I can't wait to try this. I will insert some swatches as well for you guys so that you can see the colors, but they are really stunning. The collection came out with two different waterproof liners. One of them is a darker tone and the other one is a lighter. I chose the lighter tone just because I felt it looked beautiful. It's also very unique. I've never seen a color quite like this one. Let me go ahead and swatch it. It's beautiful. I think it's going to go with this palette so beautifully. I can't wait to try this. There's many lip shades for this collection. I ended up choosing two. The first one that I chose was the Rouge Coco Flash in color 132 Flushed. This is the most gorgeous color I have ever seen. It's so beautiful. Uh, and of course the Rouge Coco Shine. I keep calling it Rouge Coco Shine because when it first came out that's what it was called. The Rouge Coco Flash. It's such a beautiful shade. The other lip color that I chose is number 836. This one is in the Rouge Allure Ink Fusion. This will be the first ink fusion that I choose and this is a gorgeous red shade. I can't wait to kind of try this lipstick. I've never tried these before. Ooh, this is very pigmented. So beautiful. I can't wait to try these. Let's go ahead and zoom you guys in and let's try out this makeup. We're starting off with the palette. So I think I'm going to start off with the brown shade and use that as a transition. Just pick up a little bit here and just apply that as a transition shade. That gave some warmth to my eyelids. So next, I think I'm gonna go in to this darker shade here and I'm gonna apply that to the outer corner. Ooh, this is a beautiful shade and I think it's very buildable, very pretty. I'm gonna use my finger and go in to this shade right here and I'm just gonna pat that kind of in the middle and then the inner corner. This is really gorgeous. I think this shade is my favorite right now. All right, let's get into the last shade right over here. I feel like this one is going to be more of a highlight, so I'm just going to top this off to the shade that I just applied. I'm 
pick up the shape here and I'm going to shade it under my waterline. Very pretty. I love that vampy type of look, but it still looks very elegant. Now I'm going to apply this eyeliner in Rumens and I'm just going to apply this into my waterline. This is such an interesting shade. I feel that it really brightens up and opens your eyes. It's really beautiful, so gorgeous. I definitely see me using this with other eyeshadow palettes as well, but it goes so well with these colors. Oh, love it, I really love this eyeshadow so much. I think it's so beautiful. I just applied some mascara and eyeliner off camera, and I think this eyeshadow looks gorgeous. And actually, I do think that this palette is similar to Charlotte Tilbury's Mesmerizing Maroon palette. This one does have a gold shade in there, but for the most part, they are somewhat similar. I think that the Charlotte Tilbury one has a little bit more shimmer in the shades, but for the most part, the colors are a little bit similar. I think that the Chanel one is more matte than the Charlotte Tilbury one, but if you guys are just wondering about that, I do think that they're somewhat, they're not exactly the same. They're both beautiful in their own way, uh, but this one is more of a, like an elegant matte type of version, and this one is more of a shimmer glow version. I think this palette is perfect for the fall season. I love that vampy type of elegant look that it gives, and I think it created such a gorgeous eyeshadow look. Let's get into the lip shades. I think I'm going to start with the lighter shade just because when I apply that red, I know it's gonna be very difficult to take it off. So we will start with number 132 and flushed. This is absolutely gorgeous. I know it's going to look so good on the lips. I did not think it would be this saturated. Oh, the glow. It's so gorgeous. Such a beautiful shade. I love the consistency of the Rouge Coco Flash. I think the formula is beautiful. It just slips onto your lips and it feels so good. Such a beautiful shade. I definitely highly recommend this to you guys. If you're wondering which shade to get out of this collection, definitely go for the Flash shade. It's so gorgeous. Let's go ahead and remove this shade. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. I don't want to even remove it. Now that lipstick is removed, so let's try this Vampy Red. I'm so excited to try this. I'm not sure what it's going to look like. Okay, so this is an intense red, but it is beautiful how stunning is this red i love a matte red i think if you want to apply a red lipstick it must be matte this is beautiful i definitely see myself in the fall and winter just applying this lipstick with very minimal makeup it's oh it's so gorgeous it's so pretty even though this eyeshadow is quite pigmented and it's always a rule of thumb that if you're going to apply a very intense lip, make sure you go lighter on the eyes and vice versa. But I think this shade of lipstick as well as the eyeshadow look just goes together. Um, somehow, I don't know, it just, it's really pretty. My goodness, this shade of lipstick is so out there. It's, oh, it's it's stunning. It's so beautiful. Pretty. I think this entire look is gorgeous. Oh, I'm so excited that they came out with such a unique collection, just like Chanel always does. This is why these are my favorite videos to record, just because it excites me so much to review Chanel makeup. Now, let's get into the perfume unboxing. Now, I have not opened this at all. I do not even know what this perfume smells like but the fact that it's just mademoiselle with added notes um, kind of got me really excited all right let's open this get right in here so i did get the larger size i got the 100 mil Don't you just love the opening and new fragrance? I think fragrance is probably one of my most favorite things to purchase. Ooh, this 
bottle is red. Oh my goodness. I am very surprised. I just want to show you guys a comparison. This is Eau de Parfum Intense in the Coco Mademoiselle. And this is the new Coco Mademoiselle. The bottle is different. Oh, I am so excited to try this out. Right off of the Chanel website, this is a sensual interpretation of Coco Mademoiselle designed to be worn at night. It is a light floral fragrance that celebrates the sensuality of night with enveloping notes of white musk illuminated by a soft jasmine and rose petal accord. So that probably explains why the bottle is a red type of color. So let's go ahead and try this fragrance out. So this is a Eau de Parfum as well, so it is going to be quite intense. Okay, I, I smell the regular Mademoiselle fragrance. This definitely is more floral though. It's really intense. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm not sure that I would prefer to wear this at nighttime though because it is quite intense. I really like the Chanel number no. 5 for nighttime. I feel that it's a very fresh type of scent and those are the kind of scents that I like to go for at night. But for an evening out, this is gorgeous. It's so beautiful. If you love the Coco Mademoiselle, you will definitely love this one for sure. It's a little bit more floral, but still kind of gives that fall winter type of vibe just because it's so strong. It's uh, it's very beautiful. So I'm going to end the video here. I absolutely love this collection. I love everything about it. I can't wait to play some more with it. I love the eyeshadow palette, love the lipsticks. They're so gorgeous. Both shades are absolutely stunning. And I definitely am in love with the new Coco Mademoiselle fragrance. It's so beautiful. If you guys get a chance to kind of get your hands on it or if you can smell it in stores, if it does come out, I believe right now it's just exclusive to Chanel.com. But it most likely will be out in stores very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. I really appreciate each and every single one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.